Hello everyone, we're back again with another critique video today on the channel. We have Brian Johnson, someone that I've not covered before, but I've had a lot of requests for him, and also I've seen him everywhere. This video is called Why I Take 100 Plus Pills Every Day. I mean, if you, if you need any more evidence that someone doesn't know what they're talking about and doesn't know what they're doing or how to interpret research at all, well, here, here it is. Here's the evidence. You shouldn't be taking 100 plus pills every day. I mean, you can, but that's indicative of deficiency with respect to your own diet. And we'll get into that later on. So we'll just jump directly into this like we usually do. But first, just like always, please subscribe to the Patreon if you haven't already to gain access to one week early uploads, one extra video per week, ad-free content, and uncensored content. And also, buy my book Contraindicated if you have not already. And with that being said, now let's jump directly into this video. Hi, my name is Brian Johnson, and I am a professional rejuvenation athlete. Like Magellan, who circumnavigated the globe, or Shackleton that tried to traverse the South Pole, I am a modern-day explorer searching for the fountain of youth. Not for the purpose of living indefinitely, but so that we can each be our very best self. And as part of- Right, but unfortunately you've been looking in the wrong area the entire time, and we'll get to it, I suspect. I take a lot of supplements. Okay, so in the word supplement, there is your... <laughs> There's the problem. Supplementing what? Something that you're missing? Well, why are you missing things on your diet? You see, I'm an affiliate with someone that sells supplements, but the supplement part is a marketing term. They have to call themselves supplements because in the marketing world, supplement just means anything in a pill form, it seems. But in reality, they are not supplements. They're nutraceuticals. So basically think of them as enhancers, like nootropics are not supplements, but they have to call themselves supplements. If you're not getting everything you need from your diet, then it is deficient and therefore is indicative of it being conscious indicated. My team and I set out to ask the question, what is possible right now with slowing our speed of aging and reversing it? To do that- Well, you cannot determine what that really is in terms of the sphere in which you are observing. You have been looking in the area of human nutrition science, which is not science at all. It is theology. You cannot perform experiments on human beings. And the thing about science is that it requires experimentation. If you don't have experimentation, you are engaging in or observing rather, if we're talking about assessing, this science, theology, not science at all. It's a bunch of epidemiology that you're looking at. There are seven flaws of epidemiology I can give you right now. Association, not causation, first and foremost. Results being adjusted for at the end of the studies, which means they were fabricated because scientists report what they observe, not what they think they would have observed if they had done the study differently in an ideal world where they could exert some control. That inflates the power of the result, but oftentimes, if you do it enough, just changes the entire result to something that is completely diametrically opposed to what you observed in the the study. There you go. That's a problem. You can't adjust for risk factors. The word risk is inappropriate there in the first place, but also each time that you do that and you stack a univariate regression on top of the other one, each one has a contributory error. So anyway, that's a problem. The reporting of relative outcome statistics as opposed to absolute outcome statistics, basically percentages and ratios instead of absolute numbers like, you know, 300,207 or something. It's always like 34%. Yeah, well, that's a problem. Let's say you're studying two populations and you've got population one and population two, and one person dies in population one and two people die in population two, well, that's a 100% relative increase in death in population two as compared to population one. That's not accurate, really, is it? Publication bias as well. Basically, scientists cannot publish studies that disprove their hypothesis within epidemiological journals. It's all based on respondent data as well. Okay, we're done. You've been basing it off of that, and so it's not science at all. That's your problem. Designed a protocol for sleep and exercise and diet and also 111 supplements. In this video, we're going- It's ridiculous, sir. Explain to you what I take, when I take them, and why. I've spent millions of dollars- built Why? Well, I guess we'll sit through this then, but this is just really- Protocol, and I've shared it all freely. It's important I share with you that before you do anything, you should probably speak with your doctor. Yeah, a lot of people are pretty confused that I can take- Well, if you're gonna speak with your doctor about anything, you should tell them that you're doing something, not ask if you can many supplements in a given day. For example, this is my morning pills. If I end up dying from taking pills, this guy is going to be the culprit. All my pills are put in these tins and my team does this once every two weeks. So we do 28 tins at a time. It's easier to batch process. Wow, this is really realistic. Yeah, sure. This is plausible and feasible for every single person on the face of the planet. Yeah, good. I mean, seriously, I mean, yeah, you're doing an experiment on yourself, so you could justify doing all this really sophisticated and meticulous stuff. But, I mean, I don't really understand why you're posting about it. Because no one's going to do this. They can't. All this, and these tins make it very easy to transport around. The number of pills we take changes on a regular basis. Sometimes it's 111, sometimes it's 104. Those are all synthetic as well. I mean, goodness. 
depends upon what data we receive. I, so saw, I saw tyrosine on there. Guess what has tyrosine in it? Meat. We have a protocol put in place. We do a whole bunch of measurements. We look at the data and we determine whether it's appropriate to continue, adjust, completely eliminate. Some pills I take, I take every day. Sometimes I take them twice a day. Sometimes I take once every two weeks, for example, rapamycin. So each pill has a different frequency and a different protocol. So every morning upon waking, I take these 60 plus pills. You can find on my website, a list of all of these. I'm gonna walk you through a few of them. This is ashwagandha. It uh, helps with anti-anxiety. No, it maybe has been associated with it in epidemiological studies. So completely riddled with confounders. And also respondent data in terms of how much ashwagandha people consumed as well, because you can't actually control for human beings in a laboratory. Okay, people lie, people forget. Okay, you think these people were measuring exactly how much ashwagandha they were consuming? We can say this for every single thing that he has on here. Absolute nonsense. You see, the thing about Brian is that he doesn't understand how to interpret science. Okay, he knows how to read a conclusion on a paper, which is an opinion written by an author or multiple authors, usually the latter. Okay, I'm not, I, I usually don't even touch on the financial interests and stuff because there's already enough there to dispense with this stuff, even without the financial corruption involved. Cortisol management, improved sleep, and increased testosterone. Nope, those are all cause and effect statements, and there's no evidence to point to any causal relationships being established between any dietary or lifestyle externality as that relates to any heart health outcomes in human beings over any given period of time. Throughout the entire time human nutrition science has existed, there never has been and there never will be, because you cannot lock people in metabolic wards and watch them over their entire lives of attempting to infer lifelong health outcomes. That's exactly what you have to do with genetic twins, phenotypically and genotypically identical. You can't do it from the time of birth. You can't do that. 600 milligrams once a day. This is calcium alpha ketoglutarate. I'm sorry, what? Calcium alpha ketoglutarate. Alpha ketoglutarate, that's not really that complicated. That is a very, very, very prevalent amino acid within the body involved in multiple cellular processes. It is almost as ubiquitous, if not exactly as ubiquitous as glutamate. They basically do trade-off reactions in, in the body all the time. Glutamate and alpha ketoglutarate. They're extremely similar structurally. Get for an improved frailty index. This is EPA. So you believe. Good for liver enzymes, uh, the arteries. Uh, we are watching and measuring. No, good for cause and effect statements. It's reductionism, okay? For DHA production as I'm on caloric restriction. 500 milligrams. You can't restrict calories because your body cannot consume calories. It's not possible. It is not possible to restrict caloric intake because you cannot consume calories. You don't yield calories from your food either, at least not directly. And the ones that you yield indirectly from the biochemical reactions that occur within the body have no mass and therefore affect the mass balance of the body up or down by zero, first and foremost, but also are not used metabolically. You don't have a calorie transport chain. You have an electron transport chain and electrons have mass and come from mass. So no, not a caloric restriction. False. Unequivocally false. Of cocoflavanols, it's for heart and brain health. This is hyaluronic acid, 300 milligrams. Once again, same thing there. Good for. Cause and effect statement. No evidence to support that claim and there never will be. Reductionism. For joint health. Gar same thing there. Once again, rewind my video. Take for liver enzymes and cholesterol management. I also eat cholesterol management. Why would you want to manage your cholesterol? The lipid heart hypothesis is complete dog sh nonsense. Okay, it was based upon fraud when it was first formulated, and there is no evidence to point the finger at LDL cholesterol, which isn't cholesterol in the first place. It's a lipoprotein, but cholesterol or any of the lipoproteins being involved causally with atherosclerosis. If that were the case, then atherosclerosis would occur in veins as well as arteries, and the form of heart disease that occurs in arteries would not be in set sites in the vasculature, which just so happen to be the sole sites where there is increased turbulence that occurs, which is exacerbated by increased pressure. Instead, it would occur as a blanket across the entire arterial wall, okay? The oxygenated area of the vasculature. So nonsense, ridiculous, cholesterol is not involved in heart disease hardly at all, and it's definitely not the cause of it. One plus or minus one percent of atherosclerotic plaque is composed or constituted of cholesterol, foam cells, and LDL or any of the lipoproteins all combined together in normal functioning physiological people and systems. Okay, we're done. Check out my cholesterol playlist on, on on YouTube to find out more about that part of my super veggie on a daily basis. And also, even without that being said, you cannot say without a doubt that that is involved in cholesterol regulation because that is reductionism and you need to perform an experiment in order to actually determine that. And there are no experiments that will be done on human beings like that because you can't control for them. The creature is repelled by garlic. Turmeric, one gram a day. I take it for inflammation, joints, and liver. 
I, um, well, in order to even have turmeric be remotely accessible by the body, because almost all of it is excreted, because the body recognizes it as foreign, you have to take black pepper for it. And the reason for that is because black pepper has piperine in it, and piperine shuts down, to an extent, the stage 2 detox pathway in your liver. I think of it as putting your hand over someone's mouth that's trying to spit something out. That's what piperine does. Body doesn't want it, but you take piperine and you shut down its detox pathways, because apparently you know better than it does. To choke on pills? Although I think several haters are hoping that I, ch uh, that I choke on the pills. It would be pretty ironic. So I'm going to show- Well, that's just inappropriate. Don't wish death upon people, guys. We've seen that recently, actually. Very recently. And it's just ridiculous. It's, it's immature and it shows who the real evil people are. I take them, about 20 ounces of water. So typically I'll just um, do it in about three different goes. First one down. Well, that's what I do with my Cerul supplements. In terms of the capsules, I take two of each, except for the sciactive joint, I take four. Second one, I'm not even sure what happens in my mouth. You know, just like, I just put it in. It's like, all right, everyone, get in line. We're going to go down. This is it. This is not destiny. Last one, here we go. And that was 43 of the 100 I take on a given day. Before bed, I take DHEA and my melatonin supplement. Melatonin specifically, I get a lot of questions on. So my team has looked at the evidence behind melatonin. They think- Okay, so your team doesn't understand science. That's what actually is the case. I mean, you don't either because you're not doing it yourself or looking at it yourself or else you'd realize how nonsensical this is. But it's your team, which doesn't surprise me because no one knows how to interpret science accurately at all. Nobody. It's so rare nowadays. Relevant for me to take, so I do so. We measure things accordingly. What I have found in my efforts of trying to become a professional rejuvenation athlete is almost no anti-aging scientist agrees with another anti-aging scientist. They all have their different opinions. So what I... Well, there you go. You know why? Because they don't know how to interpret science. Yeah, I know. They're called a scientist. I don't care. I don't care what they're called. If they knew how to interpret science, none of them would be saying any of this. They wouldn't even be suggesting that this is the case. Goodness me. Bread and circuses. So what I take is based upon my team's analysis of the evidence. and the So it's an opinion. Good. Okay we get from my body. It's why we generate hundreds of biomarkers. We're trying to see... So biomarkers have no bearing on someone's health at all because those are also based on epidemiological associations between heart health outcomes and certain behaviors that were said to be exhibited, by the way, because it's respondent data by individuals that were studied. What is this? What we're doing is working or not. Here is our supplement supply closet. I'd say it's uh, personally extremely satisfying where you see the structure and organization of what we're doing. And... <sighs> Imagine that you could eat in a way so as to eliminate all inflammation to the best of your abilities and to allow yourself to be fully replete with all of the nutrition you require for the subservience of your life without having a full f***ing closet like this. Wow. Because once again, this is what my closet looks like. These four right here are the same as these ones. That's it. And also, the best part, as much as I would like you guys to buy those, they're not required. I highly recommend that you purchase those. Stay tuned to the end where I talk more about them. But they're not required. You know why? Because you get all of the nutrition you need from the food you eat on the diet that I advocate for. Wow, good. And also, in my opinion, it's the most anti-aging you're going to get in terms of a diet. It's the most conducive to reducing your rate of aging. The rate of aging not really being something that you can measure because everybody is different first and foremost. And there's also so many confounders there and, and, and differences and factors to consider. And it's just ridiculous. It's bread and circuses once again. Get a test result and you see the actual uh, effect in the body it's really a satisfying process the 100 and you can't see the effect on the body with respect to taking those supplements effect is the conjugate of cause you cannot prove cause and effect between the consumption of one of those supplements and any hard health outcome in any human being so many confounders i mean these people don't even understand that the passage of time itself is a confounder in many of these instances pills i take daily now are around 11 dollars that's per day. And the, the objective of Blueprint- Wow, goodness. Imagine spending $11 per day on not even your food, on other things, supplements. Is to be on the frontier of slowing my speed of aging and reversing aging damage. So these are not required for everyone. This is just a- They're not required for anyone at all. Neither are they indicated. Template of if somebody wants to be on the outer edge of the frontier, this is the best we're doing right now. How do you know that? That's an opinion. And frankly, I think that opinion is nonsense. Thousands of measurements we've taken over two years and ran our process from... Ev Which are all based upon constructs. Biomarkers. They're all constructs. They're opinions based upon not science. It's a protocol to data continually. 
all the data is telling the same story. I'm the data doesn't tell us anything. It doesn't tell anything. People interpret the data and they interpret whatever the hell they want with that. Okay, it's just what you said. All anti-aging scientists have a different opinion on what's best. Well, there's a reason for that. This is all bread and circuses, Brian. What I suggest that you do, I genuinely suggest this because you clearly have a lot of time on your hands. Okay, and I'm not saying that in a denigrating way. It may sound like that. I mean it. I want to end up like that. But what I really am trying to say here is since you have the time on your hands, I would recommend that you learn how to interpret science. I'm not going to pretend like I'm all all there. I know the basic fundamentals as to what makes something not science. That's important. Statistics is a very, very complicated, if not the most complicated and difficult area of mathematics to understand. But I recommend trying to understand that. All the information is free online. You can find the courses, all that. And then interpreting the data yourself. And you'll find very quickly that this is just nonsense. All of it. But you probably won't do that because now you've made a living for yourself doing this because you get a lot of money from performing this experiment. And so you can't stop now, right? And that's what you've done. So potentially the most measured person in human history. So what? So that's interesting where you say uh, there's a bunch of opinions about health and wellness about... Just like yours and just like your teams. They're all opinions. Their claims are opinions. What to eat, what not to eat, what supplements to take. And then you have this where we just have this enormous amount of data and these results. Uh, some other criticisms... Well, there you go. Sure, fine. But you're still not locked in a lab, by the way. So it's not a complete full experiment. But sure, it's the closest that you can get to it. But still, you can't reduce the effects or the outcomes on one thing, by the way. But... <laughs> ...will make is they'll say, okay, he takes uh, 100 pills. Therefore, that means his diet is garbage. Or they'll say... That yes, absolutely the case. Your diet sucks if you have to take that many supplements. Unless you're taking the supplements in order to somehow enhance something that you believe will be enhanced by taking said supplement. Okay, but it's in the name supplement, by the way. And you can't even make the argument that, well, you know, plants nowadays don't have as much nutritional content as they did before. Why don't you just eat more plants? They're not down by that much. I mean, depending on the vitamin and, and the mineral, sure. Yeah, sure. But they never had that much to begin with. Go and look at them. I can put a document, a documentation of that, a record of that on the screen. It means that a vegan diet is bad, or it means that he needs meat, or it means that... You do, absolutely. Uh, Blueprint is agnostic, and so Blueprint says nothing about plants or meat. It's simply a process to say, we can look at evidence, we can design a protocol, we can look at... You can look at it all you want. A 12-year-old can look at evidence. A 9-year-old can. Even a newborn baby can have their eyes look at a computer screen that shows, I don't know, a study on it. Doesn't mean they know how to interpret it or how to read it, okay? And the mental capacity of a newborn child compared to the mental capacity with respect to scientific interpretation of these people that call themselves experts is arguably the same in many instances. Goo goo gaga. Seriously. Uh, and so I am a vegan by choice, not by necessity. So if somebody can achieve this without supplements, wonderful. Wow, he's a vegan. I didn't even know he was a vegan. Oh, goodness, Brian. Well, with all due respect, and I mean that, I think we could tell. We could at least assume. It borders on presumption and not assumption, actually. But This is not a situation where Blueprint is pro-supplements as the only way of doing things. It's a way of doing things. Do you need to take 100 pills a day to be healthy? No. No, neither should you. You can do so many of the basics like sleep and exercise and just having a good diet. Define what kind of exercise that we're talking about because that's important. And the majority of benefits. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. All right, I'm not watching. Listen, guys, I know that I've had recommendations to do a video on him, and if you want to recommend that I watch another one of his, I will listen to you. But there was a reason I was putting this off. It actually was because, first of all, he is pretty humble. He's not forcing this upon anyone. He just spent a minute talking about that. But also, it's just vapid to me. It's unsophisticated because all it is is just taking a bunch of supplements, and yeah, you measure, you know, your outcomes or whatever, but it still has no bearing on what diet is the best because, you know, how do you measure that? Anyway, I don't want to do another video on him because this is just ridiculous he's doing his own experiment and i think it's ridiculous and that's my opinion he has his opinions we're done all right well with that being said if you enjoyed the video please leave a like please subscribe to the channel please leave your thoughts in the comment section below and also once again subscribe to the patreon if you haven't already and buy my book contraindicated a closer look and revision of mainstream health axioms that have perpetuated illness disorder and disease for over a century if you have not bought that book already and also the link on the bottom of the screen what is that link i told you i would get to this later on that is a link that will bring you to an amazing site with amazing products from an amazing brand known known as Cerule. If you purchase product through that link, that will grant you a permanent 10% discount and a permanent free shipping discount when signing up for monthly deliveries, when signing up for an auto ship. And if you email me behind the scenes at edgookie14 at gmail.com, I can show you how to earn those products for free because who in the right mind wouldn't want that? If you want more information on these products, like who should take them, why you should take them, when to take them even, etc., etc., I would refer to the link at the top right corner of the screen, the Cerule products link. That is a complete video elucidation and explanation of what those products are and all of those things. 
I would also further migrate to the description below to find a video between myself and Professor Barquet on these products in further detail, as well as the company of Cerule itself. If you are not someone that is propitious towards having recurring payments towards my channel in the form of either a Patreon subscription or, like I said, an auto ship with Cerule, I have available two donation links linked in the description below for one-time donations. One is a PayPal donation link, and the other is a GoFundMe donation link. So just letting you know that those are available. And finally, once again, email me at eggogie14 at gmail.com if you have any questions about anything at all whatsoever. So with that being said, join me next time when we react to someone else that doesn't quite know what they're talking about and doesn't know how to interpret science or at least discern between what is science and therefore involves experimentation versus what is theology. So till then.